Hello everyone. I wanted to film an update for all of you on how effective the floating deicer has been in the stock tank. You can see, I haven't used it in a while. I've been going down to the river and making a hole in the ice. I've been doing that for a good 10 days. So, haven't been in here at all in 10 days in the last three days has been minus 30 Celsius, which minus 22 Fahrenheit is pretty darn cold. Up until this point, I haven't had any issues with ice. The deicer has been working great. Once I had the thinnest film of ice, paper thin. But let's see what's under here. After 10 days of no use, having the deicer plugged in non-stop. Before we move on to the ice buildup, I just want to point out the white powdery substance you see at the bottom of the tank. That's calcium buildup. It's in our hard water, at least here in the northeast. What happens is the element of the deicer causes that calcium to leach out of the water and then it settles at the bottom of our stock tanks. Nothing, nothing to be alarmed about, it's just the same calcium you would have in the hard water that we sometimes drink. Totally harmless. Just doesn't look all that pleasant. So, short of leaving it in, the other options are to drain your tank and wipe it clean. Or to invest about $40, $50 in a hand suction pump made for spas and hot tubs. And with that, you can easily siphon out all the debris from the bottom of the tank. You'll also most likely notice that same calcium buildup on the underneath of your deicer. Again, totally normal. It's the heating element of the deicer that's attracting the calcium to it. The manufacturers of these deicers even recommend periodic cleaning of the calcium to ensure maximum performance and efficiency. It's just important not to let the calcium build up to the point where the entire element is covered with it. If that happens, there's a risk that your deicer will burn out due to uh, its inability to disperse heat. Super easy to clean. Here's that same deicer after about three minutes of scrubbing with some CLR and a good scrubbing pad. All right, back to the ice reveal. We've got clear water in the immediate area of the deicer. And then just paper thin sheets of ice here. And as we get further out, they're getting a little thicker. I'm still bricking this with my hands. How thick does it get? It's going to get thicker towards the end. I mean, we've got a little bit of, actually quite a bit of buildup. Okay, that's a great way to show you how. It's thin within the middle, but the buildup must start along the edge of the stock tank. And say about six inches about five six inches at the surface and then it slowly narrows as it goes down consistently around the whole perimeter except where the ice you're sat. So how does that translate to usability? I've lost a lot of area and also got sharp edges around the perimeter here. 
So here I go trying to get all that ice off the perimeter of the tank. It would have just kept creeping in on my usable area, not to mention it was pretty jagged. So I'm treading carefully not to damage the tank, and you can see the pieces that I'm pulling out exemplify that tapered shape thick at the top and gets thinner as it approaches the bottom of the tank. It's all loose. And the tank was flexing a bit and giving as I was pounding on the ice right beside, but uh, it seems solid and that was the that was the benefits of having a rubber stock tank and that's what these companies promote is that there is flexibility even when cold so no cracks no damage and that was quite a bit of pounding with my eight pound axe so the ice is free before we get into the math of the de-icer cost I been shoveling all day we've had 43 centimeters of snow here in Ottawa Canada so gonna have some fun all right back in the house and I must say the snow angels were a lot of fun I don't usually do that, it's strictly into the ice tub and out, but with 43 centimeters of fluffy white powder, who could resist? All right, so now I'm gonna show you what a lot of you have been concerned about, including myself, was the electricity cost of running this de-icer. I've had it in 24 seven for this whole billing period. And first, let's show you what last billing period, last year, for the exact same billing period, I paid $38.36 electricity cost. This year, $51.25 for a total of $12.89 more. And that's from December 18 to January 20th. We've had some very cold nights, cold days, minus 30. 34 degrees, minus 34 degrees Celsius, one of the nights, our coldest night yet, and the de-icer was plugged in non-stop. So I'd say $12.89 Canadian isn't all that bad. And wherever you live, I'm sure electricity costs don't vary all that much. So just, uh, it's all relative. The de-icer doesn't pull a whole lot of electricity. $12 I'd say is well worth it to not have your tank completely freeze up on you. So hope that helps and just so you know my uh, living routine doesn't change a whole lot so from last year's billing period I can guarantee the only variable different variable was the de-icer. My hot shower usage, my oven electricity usage doesn't really change ever so that comparison that $12 is directly related to the addition of the de-icer. All right, um, hope that all helps. If you guys don't mind subscribing, um, if you don't, that's okay. That's totally uh, your choice, no worries. But uh, it's, it's awesome to see the uh, subscriber numbers go up and kind of pumps me up, motivates me to make some of these videos Bike packing season's coming soon. I'll be getting on some adventures, probably bring the camera along. And uh, if you haven't yet, check out some of the other videos I've posted. We were just recently on the, the news, our group of ice plungers that go down to the Ottawa River here in Ottawa, Canada, were profiled on the news, and I posted that in my last video. So have a look. That was a lot of fun, real fun day. So again, hope uh, this the icer video helped anybody thinking about adding a stock tank de icer to their ice bath or who've just started using it and are worried about what their electricity bill is going to look like coming up. Hope, hope this is all helpful. All right, guys. Happy plunging.